We are now officially leaving the 20th century behind. This is the century that saw the inception of White Zombie, and the novel I Am Legend get made into two different film adaptations. Three different George A. Romero movies, Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead, written as social commentary. It also saw an entire spin-off Return of the Living Dead series, which skipped the social commentary and imagined the zombie movie as a vehicle for comedy. Tonight's movie is something in between. Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg have given George A. Romero his due as the godfather of the zombie movie. George Romero is um, one of my big heroes. He, he made one of my favorite films ever, Dawn of the Dead, and of course, Night of the Living Dead and Day of the Dead subsequently. It's the godfather. It's the dead father. Um, and I'm gonna be in another film by him. <laughs> In turn, George A. Romero liked tonight's entry, Shaun of the Dead, so much that he gave Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg a cameo in the 2005 Land of the Dead. Personally, I remember seeing Shaun of the Dead when it first came out and thinking it was one of the funniest movies I've ever seen in my life. Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost were three roommates who lived together and had dreams of making movies. In 1999, they created a Channel 4 show called Spaced that lasted two seasons and has lived on as a cult classic. Um, you've got a best friend called Mike, who's a weapons expert. Yes! Uh, yeah. You have a potentially fatal allergy to Christmas. Yes, I have no memory of Christmas 1979. Mind you, I've got no memory of Christmas 1994 either. Oh, why not? I don't know. Right. British television is different than American television. British television shows usually last two or three seasons, rather than being dragged out for eight, nine, or even twelve seasons. Those zombies at the front were amazing. A lot of them were spans of spaced that had, we'd just asked to come down. We literally paid them a pound because we had to pay them. After making spaced, they were adrift, and Edgar Wright, Simon Pegg, and Nick Frost moved into a nice neighborhood, but spent all their time at a local pub. I can't do this anymore! <laughs> no, whoa there, Pickle. You know, you... Every morning I wake up and it's the same! Edgar Wright turned his frustration about Simon not wanting to do more stuff outside of the pub into the beginning of the idea for a slack romantic comedy set during the zombie apocalypse. While editing Shaun of the Dead, Edgar Wright started using a technique that would become a hallmark of his filmmaking for the rest of his career, hyper quick cuts. One of the most relatable parts of the entire movie, in my personal opinion, is the hilarious sequence where Sean walks obliviously through the city, completely unaware that anything has changed. Human beings have a tendency to act strangely in this post-austerity world of malaise and boredom. Why wouldn't you just assume that the zombies, at least at first, are just drunk or mentally ill? Else, have you got any papers? Edgar Wright and Simon Pegg also decided early on that the zombies, to use the Zed word... Zed word? Don't say it. Why not? Because it's ridiculous. Alright. Are there any out there though? ...will behave similarly to how they behaved when they were alive. This feeling of being trapped in a routine, the repeated exercises that we can't escape even in death, this was something that Edgar Wright was committed to break out of. George A. Romero envisioned zombie movies as a way to tell deep truths. Stories about human communication, consumerism, and the conflict that drives us. Shaun of the Dead asks the question, how do we stop being zombies ourselves? Three. Yeah.